Hi, my name is Eskil Steinberg, and I'm here to show you Stellar, which is a light application that I've written. Uh, it's designed to control large-scale LED installations for colored lights and lights that are individually addressable. So here I have um, all the fixtures that I have available. You can make your own, but I'm going to pick, say, a pyramid. Uh, once you have a fixture, you can move it around, you can rotate it, you can position it any way you want. I can bring in that one, I can bring in a spiral. Um, you can position these any way you want. Um, you can let's get a circle. And then you can also do things like you can do a transform. And a transform allows you to do multiple copies of something in a regular pattern. So here I can basically do this and I can move the copied version and I can make say a cylinder like this out of lots and lots of pictures. Uh, I can control how many I want. I can pull this up, something like this. Um, I can also then change what kind of picture I want. So I can change this to say a cylinder. That's kind of boring. I can do a larger circle. I have a smaller circle. I have spheres, but let's actually pick a fairly large circle and then add to this a sphere. So I'm going to take the sphere, put it here, and then I'm going to uh, do another transform on that one. So I get lots of spheres, and I'm going to move this sphere, and I'm going to rotate it to wrap around something like this. That seems good, and I'm going to position it. And then we're going to do another transform on top of this to get height. I'm going to scale that one down. So now we have <coughs> a fairly large scale installation. This would be fairly pricey to build. Um, but this allows us to test um, things we want to build in reality. So now we want to build an effect to run on this. So I'm going to go into effect mode. This is the effect mode. And to help us out, I'm going to create a new effect. So I'm going to start with a very simple shape. So I'm going to start with a sphere. So this basically creates a, a sphere that I can move around. And all the lights inside of that sphere lights up. So it's a fully volumetric system. Uh, I can do things like scale the sphere. I can make it soft. Uh, I can change the color of the sphere. Um, so today I want to animate this sphere. So I'm going to place it somewhat in the middle and I'm going to turn on animation. So now I get a uh, keyframe animation system. So I can put it down here and then go to the last frame and move it up. So now we have a simple looping animation here. Then I can add animation functions on top of this. And so for instance, I can say I want this thing to wiggle. And I can set the frequency. So now it sort of wiggles around on its way up. I can see the amplitude. Uh, and this sort of creates simple procedural animations that are really cool. Uh, I'm going to use rotation. So here we have a rotating thing, right? So that's the beginning of our effect. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Um, so I want to give this some softness to make it have a soft edge. Because on top of this, I want to put another effect. So let's see if I can find it. Um, there we go. It's called band. So band basically takes the previous layer and it finds a grayscale and makes that white and makes everything else um, black. So you get this nice sort of outline from the circle. Um, so on top of that, we might want some colors. So I'm going to add a color field. So I'm going to add a plasma. So plasma is sort of a random color field. And I can control uh, the scale of it. So here we go. Something like that. So now we have this shifting thing. I can control the speed of it. That is quite fast. And this is more slow. And then I can control how each one of these layers get blended together. So I'm going to blend them with a multiply. So now we have the colors shining through on this sort of ISO surface. Um, it's a little bit empty, so I'm going to add a, let's see what we can add. Uh, I'm going to add a decay. So a decay basically paints in the colors, and then you can see they, they slowly fade out. It's a bit too slow right now, so I can speed it up if I want to. So now it's sort of 
And I can set a color that I want them to fade to. So now we have sort of a blue fade that follows. So this is a pretty easy way to build an, an effect. Um, you can also make something uh, called a, uh, a controller. So let's see, let's look at this animation going up and down. Right now it's controlled by time. I can go back and check it out. It's controlled by duration here of the effect, but I can change that to a controller. And that means that now I have a slider. And this slider allows me to live control this particular parameter. And I can also bind this slider to an external source, like I have a sound detector here. So now it goes over the sound of my voice, which might be slightly annoying. I can do a trigger. So every time I trigger, it runs the animation. Or I can actually do an, you know, an external device, like I have a, a sensor of some kind. Or you know, if you do live events where you want to control lights with something that isn't inside of this pro program, basically. So once you've done this, you can go into play mode. And this is where you can actually play back your effects. So I can, you know, that was a boring one. Let's play this one. Um, so here is an effect that I made earlier. And it's, it's quite easy to build these. And you can run multiple effects at the same time. So here's my, here's my fishbowl one, which I kind of like. Um, it gives me a nice beams and things. Um, you can also have effects that sort of have a limited run. So, uh, for instance, I think I have um, Flash Mob, which is like sends out particles. And they search the geometry in order to, to sort of progress. Um, you can also, here you can see something where I connected two of these controllers to change color and, and size. And, you know, it means that I can sort of pipe out the parts of the, the effects that I want to be able to show. Um, this system also comes with a whole controller infrastructure um, so that you can do auto detection of, of fixtures and lots of other nice things. So that's Stellar. Thank you very much for watching.